Dear student, we would like to extend a very warm welcome from the Faculty of Economics and Business of KU Leuven and also from the Faculty of Economics, Social and Political Sciences and Communication of the Université Saint-Louis Bruxelles. We are delighted that you are interested in our Bachelor degree of Business Engineering. It's a joint English taught program where students will attend courses and take exams at both institutions and obtain a joint degree. I am Lisha de Boek and I teach operations management and operations research courses as part of the business engineering and business administration programs at KU Leuven campus Brussels. We hope that we can interest you further with this presentation and we hope very much that you will be encouraged to apply. In this presentation, we will start with some good reasons for choosing our Faculty of Economics and Business at KU Leuven. Then we will explain the kind of profile you need and all the requirements to become a student in this program. Then we will present the career opportunities for a graduate in business engineering, the detailed bachelor's program and the master's programs you can move on to after completing the bachelor's programs. A brief mention follows on the most important topics related to the start of the program, the admission requirements and the application process. Finally, we will suggest where you can find more information and provide you with contact details for further questions. Let's start by offering some very good reasons for joining us at the Faculty of Economics and Business. KU Leuven is known for its high quality education. That means it's rigorous, relevant and creative at the same time. It provides you with an academic mindset focusing on management problems where critical reflection is stimulated alongside creativity. In the Bachelor of Business Engineering program, you will learn to analyze problems, solve them using quantitative methods and draw well-founded conclusions spiced with a good dose of creativity. Our faculty is internationally oriented. Together with the Université Saint-Louis Bruxelles, it offers the benefits of a multicultural, multilingual learning environment. It gives you the opportunity to meet people from all over the world and thus build your social network. Bachelor of Business Engineering students of the third bachelor stage also have an opportunity to study abroad with more than 135 European and more than 70 non-European partners. Besides this, the faculty offers a wide range of cooperation opportunities for companies to develop projects in collaboration with students and different types of partnerships, focusing on education and or research. You will join a sustainable network with a wide range of stakeholders and alumni which benefits students past and present. We also have a career corner developed as a faculty-wide initiative. It is an integrated platform for recruitment and career development, which brings students and companies together. It offers a wide range of services, including job and internship offers. It also organizes job fairs and courses that can prepare you for future professional life. Would you like some additional reasons? Here they are. We earned a five-year accreditation from Equis, which places our faculty amongst the top business schools in the world. In addition, our faculty is ranked among the top 100 universities worldwide, according to the most recent Times Higher Education and QS rankings. We've also been voted in the top 100 of Europe's most innovative universities by Reuters. Education here is always focused on relevance. That's why the Bachelor of Business Engineering program includes a management consulting project, offers internships, invites companies 
to give guest lectures and also offers seminars by international managers and government officials that are open to students. The faculty is student-oriented. Some of the lectures take place in small groups and professors are easily accessible. The courses are scheduled in an efficient way so that you can move seamlessly between the different parts of the program. And finally, right from the start, your campus is the place to be for student facilities related to financial support, health, mobility, study guidance, etc. If this doesn't sound modest, then one thing is modest. Our tuition fees. It all adds up to an irresistible case for studying here. Brussels, as you probably know, is centrally located in the heart of Europe with high-speed train connections to Amsterdam, London and Paris, all of them under two hours. Brussels KU Leuven campus is right in the heart of Brussels, two minutes from the Grand Place, five minutes from the Central Station and with more than 90 different nationalities studying at this campus. The campus of the Université Saint-Louis-Bruxelles is just a 10-minute walk from the KU Leuven campus. You can easily get from one to the other. It feels just like crossing from one part of a single university to another. And now we come to probably one of the most important questions. What kind of profile should you ideally have as a prospective student wanting to apply for the Bachelor of Business Engineering? What is your background and what are your interests? If your interests match the ones mentioned here, if you would like to know more about each one, you can be confident that Bachelor of Business Engineering is written all over you. After all, these interests cover all the important domains of the program. So if you would like to gain insight into the roles various business domains play in organizations and in the economic world surrounding organizations and master the necessary mathematical and statistical techniques to analyze and solve business problems and acquire a solid background in ICT skills and information management and develop a business perspective on science and engineering and move up to international executive functions in a multinational an SME, a non-profit or governmental organization, then you have the right profile. If the areas mentioned in the previous slide are too theoretical, then you can also get an idea about your suitability for the program if the kind of problems outlined here interest you. These multidisciplinary questions ask for you to be a problem solver, analytical, digital and entrepreneurial. So would you like to investigate whether the creation of the Eurozone enhanced intra-EU trade? Research why taking the train instead of taking an airplane when traveling within the EU makes no difference in terms of CO2 emissions. Examine why Uber, Airbnb and Booking are such successful companies. Develop an app to optimize the travel times of people by combining different modes of public transport, be a digital transformer in your company, optimize clients' investment portfolios given their preferences, then you have again the right profile. To sum up, we can assure you that if you want to become a global manager who can solve complex business problems in an analytical way, using a multidisciplinary approach, you will not regret starting the Bachelor of Business Engineering program. It must be clear from the business engineering profile that it requires specific skills. We would like to stress here that the program has a significant quantitative focus. Today's business engineers often use mathematical and statistical models to describe reality in a logical way. The language of mathematics and statistics 
is a powerful tool for describing and exploring those models. By learning this language, you develop your skills in recognizing structures, systematic problem solving, and checking the plausibility of the obtained result. As such, students should have a very strong mathematical background. To give you an idea of what you can expect and what we offer, we have made information available to you on the prospective students' website. There you can find a description of the mathematical topics you are expected to have covered before entering the programme. There is even a downloadable document with examples of problems that you should be able to solve. In any case, we would recommend attending the refresher course given in the second week of September and taking the assessment test afterwards. Failing the assessment test will not exclude you from starting the Bachelor of Business Engineering program, but it will give you a strong indication that your basis in mathematics is not sufficiently sound. After taking the assessment, you will also be able to sign up for an appointment with the mathematics professors where we will discuss your result and advise you whether the Bachelor of Business Engineering program is suitable for you. A frequently asked question is, what are the career opportunities of a business engineer? It will become clear when discussing the program that a degree in business engineering opens many doors in a wide range of sectors. Due to their unique profile, the managerial focus combined with strong analytical skills and a profound understanding of how business and technological innovation processes work, business engineers can take up managerial functions in various business domains, as you can read from the slides under the title Employed in Diverse Sectors. These positions can be taken up in small and medium-sized enterprises, but also in large international companies. Business engineers usually start their careers taking on expert positions within companies, in research or in consulting services, and move up to executive functions. We also provide you with a list of typical business engineers' jobs. Note that these typically have a quantitative flavor, such as financial engineer, marketing analyst, business intelligence consultant, etc. We now move on to the details of the bachelor's program. To give you a little bit more insight into the components of the program, we will use the example of those popular veggie sneakers. The veggie company, founded by two entrepreneurs, combines product design with social responsibility. On their website, they make explicit what the veggie project means. They announce their strategy and show their vision by covering topics such as transparency, fair trade, and reintegration. These elements are covered in courses such as strategic management, brand management, part of a marketing course, and courses tackling topics linked to sustainability and entrepreneurship. On their website, we noted that in January, they bundled orders to ship on one day. This reflected a key planning strategy, which would certainly emerge as a topic in operations management or logistics courses. Looking at the elements available on the website of their webshop, we can discover many topics that are covered in our program. Just look at their strategies for reaching as many customers as possible, for pricing products, for maintaining the availability of sneakers as part of inventory management, and using ICT systems to pass on this information to interconnecting departments within the company. See their customer service and communication channels, financial planning processes, and the way they use information from previous purchases to suggest other products to potential customers, which is part of marketing modeling. Typical questions for business engineers that pop up related to this website are, what is the optimal marketing mix? Can we create complementary bundles of products that provide added value when they are together? 
how can we deliver products to customers in a more efficient way? Note that these are typical managerial questions with a strong focus on problem solving and optimizing. The Bachelor of Business Engineering is an English taught Bachelor of Science degree program. So all courses are taught in English, except for the language courses and some electives. It's daytime education, meaning that courses mainly take place between 8.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. The program has 180 credits spread over three stages or three years, with each year containing 60 credits. Each year is divided into two semesters, where the number of credits to be taken up in the first semester is more or less equal to the number of credits in the second semester. As the Bachelor of Business Engineering is a joint degree program organized by the Faculty of Economics and Business of KU Leuven and the Faculty of Economics, Social and Political Sciences and Communication of the Université Saint-Louis-Bruxelles, students will attend courses and take exams at both institutions. The bachelor's program is a well-rounded program giving a broad introduction in all the relevant subject areas. The program is structured around the following nine domains, economic analysis, management of business domains, ICT skills and information management, mathematical and statistical techniques, natural and applied sciences, behavior and society, law, languages and Finally, entrepreneurship, innovation, professional skills and employability. The workload of each of those domains is represented here by the number of credits organized in each year in each domain. The workload in each domain changes from year to year. However, one can clearly see that management of business domains in purple and mathematical and statistical techniques in blue represent by far the largest part of the program in all three years. If we look in detail, we can see that in a domain of economic analysis, we start with a basic course in micro and macroeconomics in economics one and two, and end with more advanced micro and macroeconomic courses. In management of business domains, we cover accountancy, finance, marketing, human resources, operations management and strategy courses. The ICT domain begins with a basic ICT course and covers programming skills and more advanced topics in the years that follow. The mathematical and statistical techniques domain starts with mathematics courses in the first year, statistical courses in the second year and applied mathematics and statistical courses in the second and third year. There is also one broader behavior and society course in each year and one basic law course in the first year. The languages domain contains an English course in the first two years and a language course in each of the three years where one can choose one language from French, German, Dutch or Spanish. The natural and applied sciences courses start from the second year and have two applied physics and one applied chemistry course. In the third year, there is a company consultancy project and a cluster of electives. Within this cluster of electives, one can choose from courses at the campuses of KU Leuven in Brussels and Leuven and at the Université Saint-Louis-Bruxelles, including language immersion track courses, and short mobility economics courses like summer schools and internships. By now, we hope it's clear this is a challenging program that will take you to a new level. What can you do after graduating in the Bachelor of Business Engineering? After obtaining the bachelor's degree in business engineering, you can continue your studies in this field by completing the master's degree program in business engineering organized at KU Leuven. But you are also prepared for any master's degree in economics and business with a strong quantitative focus. More specifically, you will have direct access to the following masters 
organized at one or more campuses of KU Leuven. The Master of Actuarial and Financial Engineering, the Master of Statistics, the Master of Information Management, the Master of Economics, the Master of Business Economics, and the Master of Business Administration. If you wish to continue your studies in the Master of Business Engineering, then you can follow the program at Campus Leuven. At the Brussels campus, a new program is to be launched. The program that Campus Leuven offers has a Master of Science degree and is also an English taught program with daytime education. The program consists of 120 credits spread over two stages or two years. The first year contains core courses, major and minor courses and electives. The second year has core courses, minor courses and electives, as well as the master's thesis. The core module consists of 42 credits. You choose a major of 24 credits that allows you to specialize in one aspect of business economics and management. Your master thesis, also representing 24 credits, will usually be written in the domain of your major. In addition, you choose a minor of 24 credits to deepen your knowledge or to broaden it towards another discipline. In this way, you can put together a program that matches your interests as closely as possible. The electives represent six credits. The seven tracks that are offered in the major module cover most of the business domains, such as accounting and financial management, risk and finance, marketing and production and logistics, but also contain more quantitative and technology tracks. The tracks of the minor module are those of the major module extended through modules, enabling you further to specialize in a specific field, such as, for example, actuarial and financial engineering, or reach out towards another field, such as, for example, corporate sustainability or European affairs management. If the Bachelor of Business Engineering has proved too tempting to resist, we can now tell you when this program starts. Each year is divided into two semesters with exams at the end of each semester. The first semester starts in the second week of September with a welcome day on the Friday of the second week. Your classes start in the third week and will continue until the end of December. The Christmas holiday period will be your study period for the exams you will be taking in the course of January. The second semester starts in February and you will have classes until the second half of May. Again, the month of June will be reserved for exams. Note that since the academic year starts a week earlier at the Université Saint-Louis-Bruxelles, the courses and exams they organize in the program start one week earlier than at KU Leuven. To be admitted to the Bachelor of Business Engineering program, you must meet a number of requirements in order to be able to apply. Although these can clearly be found on the prospective student's website, we can briefly inform you about the main requirements. The most obvious document you need to have is a Diploma of Secondary Education. Note especially that the diploma has to be one that gives you access to higher education in your country if it is to allow you access to our bachelor's program. As there is a strong focus on mathematics, it should not come as a surprise that we expect a high level of proficiency in mathematics with a minimum SAT score of 570 on the mathematics section of a general SAT test or a minimum ACT score of 23 on the mathematics test. Students with a degree from a country which has ratified the Lisbon Recognition Convention or students who have obtained the European Baccalaureate or an International Baccalaureate Diploma are exempted from this requirement. As the program is entirely taught in English, you will have to provide us with an English test result. We accept the following tests, TOEFL, Fields and Cambridge. 
the TOEFL score needs to be a minimum total score of 90 with a minimum subscores of 20 for each skill. The EELTS minimum score is 6.5 with minimum subscores of 5.5 for each skill. If you have obtained the Cambridge Proficiency English or the Cambridge Advanced English Certificate, that will enable you to take our bachelor's degree. However, no other Cambridge tests are accepted. Make special note of the fact that students exempted from this language test are listed in this slide and on the prospective students' website. Since you know what documents are required of you, we will move on to the application procedure. Students with a diploma from the Flemish community in Belgium have access to a different online registration system. However, we suspect that the majority of you will have a different diploma. So we would advise you carefully to read the instructions and complete and submit your application. Besides providing us with your personal details, you will have to pay an application fee and upload all necessary documents. If a test result is missing, please, in any case, upload proof of registration for the test so that we can start processing your file. The final decision about acceptance will only be made after all test results are in. Only then we will send you an official admission letter with which you can, for instance, apply for a student visa if you are coming from outside the European Economic Area. After the submission of your file, you can follow up your file online, but be aware that the average processing time of a file is six weeks. You can officially register as a student at KU Leuven as of mid-August. And now on to the application deadlines. To ensure you have enough time to apply for a student visa, the application deadline for non-EA citizens was the 1st of April. For non-EA citizens already living in Belgium with a valid residence permit and EA citizens the deadline is the 1st of June. The tuition fees for this program are those applicable to students at the Université Saint-Louis-Bruxelles. They are 835 euros for EEA students and 1,750 euros for non-EEA citizens. This is the fee for one academic year of full-time studies equivalent to 60 ECTS. For those interested in funding opportunities, it's important to mention that we are subsidized universities and do not offer scholarships for bachelor students. Finally, let us tell you where you can find more information as well as contact details if you have any further questions. For students applying from outside Belgium, we have compiled an information package with all the things you need to know before and after your arrival in Belgium. You will find information regarding your visa application and the proof of solvency which non-EEA students need to provide before their visa application. You will also find information regarding accommodation options, your way around the two campuses and the facilities we provide and instructions on how to register as well as practical essentials concerning your studies and living in Belgium. Further information and contact details can also be found on our website for prospective students, which we have referred to throughout our presentation. In any case, if you should have any questions or if something is still unclear, do not hesitate to contact us at the email address given here. We thank you very much for following the presentation and we hope to meet you soon.